So, the workshop is called The Four, The Nach and The Choice. I wanted to name it The Four, The Nach and The Ugly, but then I would be The Ugly, and <laughs> that's bad commercial. So, um, we're gonna do a little time traveling thing. Because, apart from sword fighters being godlike, because we create time and distance, we also time travel. Because we go from a reactional state to an action state. Which means we travel from the Nach to the Four. Which means that we have to make a little jump from being uh, in a negative state to a positive state. Um, does anybody know Newton? I, I like to involve physics in the, in the... Yeah, I think you heard of Newton, right? Um, first law of dynamics is the one I like most. I'm, I'm very efficient, uh, also lazy. So an object will only move if it's pushed. So an object will stay in rest unless it's being forced to move from an outside source, an outside force. But the third law also says that if you try to move an object, it will react in an opposite and equal reaction. Yeah. So this, these are the two things we're going to use in the workshop as well. Because I'm a lazy slash efficient fighter. I only want to do something when it's necessary. So if my opponent threatens me with a sword or hangs the point in my face, I have to do something. I can't just stay there. So this is the point where I move, where I do something. In the meantime, if the distance is big enough and if he's not forming a threat, I don't have to do anything. Well, I have to be vigilant and see what's going on. I have to move because uh, Lichtenauer says, um, he who moves lives and he who stay, stands still will die. He says, motus, Latin for movement, no, frequens motus, so keep moving. And this is what I want to do also today, to keep moving, yeah? Keep dancing, or just make it weird for the eye. He also says, if you can confuse your opponent with movement, then that's a plus as well. So, we have the four, and he talks about, if you read Dobringer, he talks about four schlag, four schlag, four schlag, take the four schlag, use the four schlag, use the four loop, use the four. Um, and the opposite part of it is in the Nach. So it's like a binary system. If I'm in the four, my opponent automatically goes to the Nach. He has to. Because if he also tries to take the four, then we will get a double hit. This is something I want to avoid. So if I take the four, my opponent's in the Nach. But if, if he takes the four, I'm in the Nach. So it's either one or zero. There's nothing in between. Well, there is, but we're going to explain this. Um, so, if I take the four and he ignores me and also takes the four, I have to be the better sword fighter and go to the Nach. Um, one of the exercises we're going to do today is how Nach can you go? So, what's the, the latest moment I have to react upon? Okay. Shall we do some exercises? Yeah? Okay. Um, we'll start with a little warm up exercise. It's, it's Sunday, I know, but we still have to do a little warm up. Um, we're going to use a little game of tag, Michel also used in this workshop. So, um, we start in, in, well, not quite the uh, touching distance, so this, this would be Krieg, yeah? So we're going to use a little bit of Zufechten, but I want you to know, to notice, if I, if I have the action, or if my opponent has the action. So, if I'm in the four, he has to defend, or else he gets hit. Targets are shoulders inside and outside and knees inside and outside. So if I attack, he has to defend, create an opening <coughs> and counter attack and cover again. <coughs> if he attacks and I attack, this will be silly. It's okay if it happens, but register it. Yeah? See that it happens, know that it happens. Uh, as well as if I go to his knee and he goes to my shoulder, yeah? Now we both take the four, so we get a double hit. So, if he attacks, defend, counter attack, and go back. Who was in the four? Who was in the four? He was in the four, yeah? But I took the four away from him by making a parry, and now I take the four, and I can hit him again. Yeah? So, I ended up in the four. Because if you hit somebody, you have the four. Yeah? Agreed? Okay, let's warm up. Find a partner, go play. 
I have the four. Yeah? Michelle doesn't have the four. So we're going to do a little footwork exercise where we maintain distance. So if I step forward, you have to go back. I don't mind if you don't do the exact same footwork. So I can make a passing step, we can just make a step forward. Yeah? So as long as I have the four, he has to follow my lead. Now once in a while I can offer him the four and he can take the four. And now he's in the lead. So if he moves, I have to move. Yeah? Now he offers me the four, but I'm in too far of a distance. So you offer and you take back. Yeah? So if I can't reach it because my distance is wrong, mm -hmm. he takes it back. And then he still has the four. So I have to follow him. Until he offers the four again, I take it. And now he has to follow me. Okay? Try this. Now, if you have the four, you not only have the initiative and he has to follow me, but I can use the four as well. So, <laughs> move, offer the four, if he misses, use it. Yeah? Yes. If, if there are any hard parts of it, don't go for the face. Yeah? But if, there, if it's a soft glove, yeah, why not? Yeah? That's not a soft glove. That's not a soft glove, but just to make the example. Yeah? <laughs> no. Okay? So if this is wrong, go. Hop. Go. And I still have the four. <laughs> yeah? I do it some more. Shit! <laughs> yeah? Okay, try this. Get a sword. Let's take a sturdy stance. Get the sword in front of you. So like a hundred things. One hand. Okay, switch. With one hand, this big eight front. Overhaul, overhaul. Yeah. Really from the shoulder. Use your hip rotation. Make it big. Switch. And make it smaller and faster. Now use your hip. Rotate a little bit. <coughs> Switch. <coughs> Up. And big. Switch. Big. 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 And small. One in front, one behind. Switch. 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 Okay, shoulders. Switch. One in front, one behind. Switch. Upper body. And big. Heel. Hey, left and right. Back to front.
Switch. Switch. Knee. Switch. Switch. And switch. Up. Switch. Switch. Up. Out. Back. Down. Switch. Switch. Now out, front, back. Switch. Out, front, back. Up. Press your head, left to right. Back to front. Back, left to right. Okay, take your left hand, push. One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, Three, four, five. Left. One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Look left and right. Out. Good. Get a sword. Two feet in one line. We're going to start out with rechter oberhaul, linker oberhaul. So we're going to strike, hands over the line, strike, hands over the line, strike. Ten times. Let's go. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fair hold. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, kumpa. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From fluke, stab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten from Ox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Shake it up. Get a drink. Get back here with your sword and your mask. So for the next exercise, he's going to be my dummy. My training partner, and I want to be in a distance where if I extend all the way, I will not hit him, but like 10 centimeters. Yeah? So from here, this is too close. There, there will be, this will be too far away. Yeah? I want to be ex fully extended here. Most importantly, use your hip rotation there. Because I'm not going to use my back foot. No tempo, no footwork for the first stab. We're going to make one, two, three, and stab. Or four or five, whatever feels comfortable. Yeah? If you're a master, you can do it at once. Boom. There. If not, please practice a little bit. Hip rotation, full extension. Get back. Get back. Okay, now I feel comfortable. Yeah? Boom. Please be careful if you stab someone in the head because the impact will damage your neck and your brain if you've got one. So, careful. Yeah, I don't have to run him through. I just want to make a proper stab. And most importantly, don't stab before you stab. I know the words sound the same. 
step first, step later. So, one, two, three, four. And on the other side. One, two, three. Okay? So, fluke, fluke, rotate every five times. Okay? Go practice. Why do I keep my back foot here? And just use my hip rotation. There. You can turn it a little bit if you like, turn it in or out, whatever suits you best. But I leave it on the ground. Because I'm pushing the earth away behind me just to stab it in the face. If I go like this, not only does he see me move, because I'm 125 kilograms. You'll notice if, if, it, if it moves. Yeah? So he will notice if I move. Not only this, I can't push away. I can't pressure anything. So I want to keep this foot on the ground there to quickly extend. First extend the blade there. Push your hips in there. This is my maximum range. And now, if I need to, I can still step forward. Okay? Also, because my foot is still here, I d I'm not closing the distance yet. Because if he wants to make a parry on the stab, there, I can just go here. And I still have this to do. Yeah? I'm in a stable position to make a Durchwechsel. So from here, if I would do this, yeah, not gonna work. So from here, I stab him, oh, stand here. Okay, not gonna do this. But this is an example. So why you keep your foot down? So we're gonna do the same thing from Ox. Extend, 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 stab. Now also, because Ox, I'm taller than most people, so I stab him in the face. But if you're almost the same height, to stab a little bit down, go here. Yeah? So, Ox, extend, 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 stab. Okay? Both sides. Let's go. Michel is going to stab me in the face. And I'm also going to prove there. So I have left foot forward, right foot behind, short on the left side. I give him a little opening by moving my point offline. If not, he will probably not stab me. Yeah? Because if there's a point in your face, you won't just go in. So, challenge your opponent, say, oh, come on, stab me in the face, yeah? By opening up just a little bit, yeah? And then he will go in. He will cover himself in the low line. Because if you go through the middle, you want to be safe on this side. So, I open up, there. If you're in the, stay in the middle, in the middle, there. I can have your head as well. So this is gonna be a double hit, yeah? But stab, extend, and cover. Yeah? Okay. Try this. Please practice. So, what to do against this? He takes the four, so I'm in the na. Which means he is one and I'm zero. I want to be one. But I have to bridge the gap between zero and one. Now, if I do that by not covering myself, we will get a double hit. Yeah? So we both die. This is silly. Do we agree? Yeah? Okay, good. So, what do I do? I do actually the exact same thing he does. So if he tries to stab me, I try to stab him. Um, this part of the sword, the strong part, is also the shield. So this is my weapon. I hit with this and I cover with this. If I make a fazetza, if you try to strike me, yeah, I don't cover with my weapon, I cover with my shield, because here I'm strong. Yeah? So, I use my strong as a... Um, if, if you have snow on the road, you, know, you clear the road by a plow, yeah? like a snow plow. So, this fluke, I now call the snow plow. Schnee fluke. Yeah? So from here, I clear the path, and then I just step forward, yeah? Because now there's no more snow, so I don't slip, so now I can just put my foot down. If I do that before I clear the road, 
I will slip and die on his sword. So if I step first, there. Yeah, this is silly. So please clear the road. There, hip rotation, step forward. This is called upsetsen. Yeah, it's a form of zetsen, but you attack in the same time. So it's not just a parry, it's a parry with an attack. One more time. So from here, cover and take a walk. Again, cover and take a walk. Don't just parry, because if you parry, you lose the floor. This is what will happen. Or yeah. So I want to immediately, immediately attack him. So I push my point into his face and step forward. Yeah. It's the same step. My end position is called the lower hanger. So from fluke with me, I extend here. Yeah. I have my snowplow in front of me and I'm safe to step in. Okay, please try this. My starting distance is not here. Yeah? Because now I can hit him every time and he can hit me every time. Yeah? It's not a game, it's a fight. So, don't cross your blade. Not here, here. Now, I'm in a good two fashion distance and I need to extend there to be a threat. This is what I do. So I extend, boom, and step in. He does the same. Extend, go down. Here. Now, um, for those who are uh, who like to visualize, I have a square here. Yeah? There. Four corners. One, two, three, four. I go down there with my hand. The same ending position as Rechte Oberhaupt. Here. The same ending position as Schielhaupt. Here. The same ending position as Abfetzen. Schwerhau. Horse Abfetzen. Yeah? Go there. One, two, other side the same, three, four. So, my sword makes these lines. It's like a pyramid on the side, pointing this way. One, two, three, four. These are called the hangens. These are the guards, the hooten. The hangens. Starting position, ending position. Start, end. Yeah? Okay. Now, we're gonna make a shield house. Who of you can't do a shield house? Don't be afraid. No? Everybody else knows the shield house? Good. Okay. He's in fluke. I'm gonna be in the knot. So if he makes a stab, I make shield house. So instead of stabbing to this position, I'm gonna strike. So, stich, how? So from here, I just do the same, and I go here. Now I use the short edge. When I make the upset sim, I can also use the long edge. Here. But you can also use go to thumb grip, it doesn't matter. With the shield how, I do go to thumb grip. Here. Yeah? And I end up in the same position. Okay? So, Test the distance, okay, I go to Fontaf, he stabs me, and I strike down with the short edge, and I come up in the same position. Fluke, Q, strike, step. Yeah. Last, foot comes last. One more. Okay. Please try this. Um, Schilhau in the knot. He takes the initiative. I have to react. And I can use my Meisterhau to go from knot to four. Yeah? This is why the masters can time travel. They travel from knot to four. They skip one time and they overtake. Like a car on the highway, you overtake, boom. And you're in the four again. Now we're going to do the same thing against the howl. 
Yeah? He's going to make rechter overhaul. There. And I'm going to just go here. Same thing. Boom. Boom. Yeah? Same ending position as the upsetter. There. As the shield how against the strike. There. And uh, against the stab and against the strike. Yeah? So. So. I'm in the now. I don't mind. I'm quick. Yeah? You don't need to be fast. You need to be quick. You need to be fast in the right time. Yeah? If I'm fast all the time, yeah? lots of energy, lots of sweat, no. Only be fast if you have to. Be explosive. It's like a little uh, spring. You compress it. There. And then you go boink against your opponent. This is the same thing. Compress. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect. <laughs> yeah? So, keep your distance, please. He's in my distance. I know. I don't mind. I have the Meisterhauer. Yeah? So I can be in the Nath. This is my choice. Yeah? I don't have to be, but I want to. Because I know I can cover what's coming from this situation. Okay? Please try this. Against the strike, chill out. Now we're going to do Shilhau in the four. Shilhau breaks fluke. So nice to know. So if my opponent is in fluke or is going through fluke, I make a Shilhau. When do I make the Shilhau? At which distance? When you want to close? When you want to close the distance? Yeah. But do I, do I have to hit him with my Shilhau? No. No. Because the shield how is a threatening strike. It comes in with the point first. Which is nice because I want him to think, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah? And this is the tactical advantage from a Meisterhau against the Oberhau. Because if I strike Rector Oberhau, he can just go past him. He can just go suplexal, stab. So if I make the shield how, if I doubt if I can hit him or not, that's the time to act. Yeah? If I'm sure I can hit him, I also am sure he can hit me. Yeah? So, now I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Maybe, now I act. Boom. Ah, okay, didn't hit him, good. Boom. Yeah? So, use your Meisterhau to close the distance Take the four and threaten your opponent from a safe position. Because I cleared my path, all the snow is gone. Yeah, I can step here. And then I can go through a forward. Okay, try again. So, he's in fluke. I don't care what he does. But now, he's in the knot. Yeah, I'm going to take the four for the exercise. So, from here on, I close, I close, I close. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I'm going to try it anyway. Boom. Yeah? Because I'm, if I'm sure I can hit him, he's going to think, oh, he's coming awfully close. He's going to stab me. Yeah? Which again, I don't mind because the steel how breaks everything. I'm going to try this later. Yeah? But I want to be four. Take the four loop. Use it. So from here, yeah, I close, I close, I close. Boom. Stab. Yeah? If he steps forward, I don't care. I still have him. If he jumps forward, fine. Yeah. I kill him anyway. Yeah. He just walks into my sword. This is where he says, kill the buffalo. Boom. Yeah. More shit. Okay. So, we're going to first start with me in the four and him in the knock. So he's not going to do anything. I take the four, I stab him. So, walk, 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 walk. Boom. Now, then, if this is going good, he can step forward, or maybe even try to take the four.
Yeah? Just go. Make the same strike when you think you can. I don't mind what he does, I just go here. Yeah? Maybe I hit him, maybe I have to stab again, but I'm gonna kill him anyway because I'm safe and I have the force. Okay, try this. Please practice. Someone is in fluke, there, whatever he or she does, I can just make the shield hop. Yeah? So that's clear. I move towards the same position. I don't care. The shield hall will save me. It's our Lord and Savior. Uh, Meister Howell. Yeah? The shield hall will set you free. So, can we do the same thing with another Meister Howell? Yeah, why not? <coughs> now we're going to use Kroop Howell. And Kroop Howell creates ox. So if my opponent is in ox position, ox position, make the Kroop Howell. So how do we make the Kroop Howell? Well, we start at the same motion, so I'm here, and I go, I want to go there, yeah, because this is my shield how, there, but halfway in the motion, my left hand decides he wants to go to the other way, yeah, so I make the first motion, there, and then my left hand goes, nope, there, yeah, now the first play says, krump aus der Hände, wirf den Ort auf die Hände, so a good krump how, you throw the Ort, the points, on the hand, on the hand. So what I do is from here, we're gonna start in the four. I have the four, he has the knock. Yeah, so I go. So I go. No, 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 maybe. Hey. Yeah? And you want to go here. But if your opponent has light gloves, please go here. Yeah? Okay, so what you want to go here. Why do you want to go here? Will this kill him? Can I kill him with this? No. But I threaten him and his head is just behind his hands. And if you threaten someone, it's gonna, oh, oh fuck. Yeah? Sorry, bad language. But then he's gonna go, oh no. Yeah? So he's gonna probably move his hands. So I break his position and I break what he wants to do. And that's fine by me, because he says, after this, turn and stab him on the other side of the face. Okay, so, no, 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 maybe. So it's like so, stab him on the other side of the face. Yeah? If he makes the Versetzer, I call it the oh shit Versetzer. The merda for Zetsa. Yeah, he's gonna go Ugh! like this. Yeah, this is fine. I have him, I still have the four. So I go, no, no, maybe. Durchwechsel, yeah, change, and stab him on the other side in the face. Now I'm safe here. My little roof there. Yeah, I'm safe here. Okay. We'll try this. One more, one more explanation. Krumphau, my left hand goes this way. Yeah. Overhau, change. There. Stab him in the face. Or if he makes the possessor. No, no, maybe. Stab him in the face. Okay? Please try this. Let's have a look. Yeah. So I'm going to step out of mine here. This is enough, because the further away I go, the less distance I have. Yeah? If I go here, I can still get there. Yeah? Here. Yeah? Can you go like this? Yeah? Or, if you make the projector. Jump to the side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To get out of no. the He says jump with the left foot of Simon Link in sight. You know. Yeah, but that is not 45 grad dahin or 90 grad dahin. Yeah? That is also out of the line. Yeah? So, I give not my distance away to what? Security? Then I have it already when I go forward. Yeah? So, I don't need to go here to go. Okay. Um.
Wärst du der Meinung, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht, ich weiß nicht, ich vom nicht, ich weiß 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 We did the Kumpau in the four, just like the Seelhau in the four. If he is in Ox or moves to Ox, yeah, and I can see him, and I'm in the, maybe I can, maybe I can't hit him distance, Kumpau. Now, what if he's in distance and tries to stab me from Ox? So he takes the four, I take the Nam. I can still make Kumpau. Because Kumpau doesn't just break Ox, it breaks everything from Ox as well. Just as seal house makes fluke and everything from fluke. And there's overhaul as well. A bonus, bonus overhaul. So, if he's in ox and he moves into distance and he thinks he can stab, stab. This to the Meister Schwächen strikes to the Flächen. If you want to weaken the master, strike to the flat of the blade. Second blade. So, don't, no longer go for the hands but take the threat off the line. So I'm changing my angle from here to here. Yeah? There. So, come forward. Boom! Yeah? Same compound, same principle. My left hand still wants to go here, there. This is my end position. Yeah? There. Now, wind and stab him on the other side in the face. Only do footwork if you need to. And in this case, you don't need to. So I, I step out offline just a little bit. Just a bit. Yeah. So from here, he goes into ox, goes to step in, boom. Change, step. If he wants, and now I step. Because now I'm safe. Because if he, if he wants to do anything, from here, here, there, if he wants to go up, and I'm here, I can't do anything anymore. But if I'm here, sure, yeah? So, one more time. Kumpau in the nach, change, stab. One more time. Ah, I can even make it really, really nach. So how nach can you go? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Please try this. He comes into distance, stabs me, I change the angle from here to here, hits him on the blade, twist, stab. Okay, go practice. We made a Sielhau in the Nach and in the Four. We made a Krumpau in the Four and the Nach. The thing is, I always go to the same position depending on where he's standing. So if it's in fluke, I go here. If it's in, in ox, I go here. Yeah? Ending position. So either go here or go here. Okay? What I do afterwards, I don't mind. I do what's necessary. If I have to make a defeat to get to him, fine. If a mutiere, fine. Just a wind and stab or a dudewechsler, fine. Do what's necessary. The next exercise, we're going to combine everything we did. So, as follows. He's going to change position. So he can go to Fomtag, Alba, uh -huh. If he goes to Ox or Fluke, do what's necessary. If he is in distance, he may stab me. Yeah, from Ox or from Fluke. We're going to remove the rest of all. So just stab as an attack. I don't care. I can either take four or not, depending on the distance or what I'm feeling like. Yeah? I prefer to have the four because it gives me the control I want. Or, <laughs> you have your camera. <laughs> I saw your face. <laughs> um, or, I can choose to be in the nap, but it's a choice. Yeah? I can open up a little honey trap for him, say, okay, come get me, come get me, come get me, boom. Yeah? Good. So, he changes position. He's in fluke, maybe, there. I can say, ah, maybe I can, maybe I can. I'm gonna hit him, feel how, better. If he is in 
um, um, for example, Alber, and now he steps forward into this into distance while going to fluke there. Now he's going to stab me. Yeah. Now he has to because he has to do something. Okay. So he comes in with Albert there, changes the fluke, stab. No. This is the how nach can I go? Yeah. This is the last minute shield how. Last second. Yeah. <laughs> mm. We can do the same thing with Ox and Grumpau. If he's in Von Tach, there, he goes into Ox, he's in distance and he stabs. Let yourself be stabbed once in a while. Feels good. Yeah? But it's also to test if my opponent can, can stab. Or if he's uh, anticipating the exercise and goes into a cassette somewhere. So, he goes into Ox. Whoop. I can take all the time I need, I have to force. Okay. Or if he's an ox, go, stab. Or if he makes the frazetsa by accident, there. Boom. Okay? Okay. Any questions? No? Please pair up and try these. So, Krumphau uh, against ox, Shilhau against Plug. One more thing. Michel just reminded me about this workshop. Don't forget this. I want to be safe after I hit the guy. Because if he's in, in a fluke there and I hit him there, I'm not done. Because maybe he has one, one, one final breath of life and goes, uh, and stabs you. So, make the shield how, hit him, and either go back, find the blade and go back, or there, find the blade and go in, to wrestle, there, or cut him. Boom, here, there. Yeah? I want to be safe in the end. So, or cut. Yes? Okay, go practice. So, what I, want, I want you to show one more thing, and if you think it's cool enough, then we can practice it from the middle. Um, but we have to go five minutes over time. Is that okay with you? Okay. Yeah? Okay. If you have to leave, then, then you can leave, of course. Okay. So, there's one little shitty paradoxal thing in uh, uh, Lichtenauer. And that is that uh, he says you can break everything from the ox. Meisterhau, yeah, Kumphau breaks not only the position, but everything from the position. Okay. Now, if he's an ox and he makes a stab, okay, fine. I can break it. But if he makes an overhaul, yeah, see what's the problem? Now if he does it from the other side, it's fine. Yeah, I can go uh, long edge, short edge, as described, but not from this one. So I could I could go for his head, but then he can also hit me. This is a problem. So, what to do? I have two solutions. In the fifth piece, he says, um, Krum Kort. <coughs> yeah, so make a short Krum Pau there, and then stab. Okay, think we're gonna do. So, from here, I see him ignoring. So, I make a short Krum Pau. I still make the same motion. Boom. Only I don't finish it because I see the threat coming in. He's ignoring my four, he's taking the four, so I have to be in the knot. Yeah, it's just one or zero. And if he doesn't go with me, then I have to go with him. So, here, and go up again. Instead of ending up here, there, and up here, I go up. Okay, one more. So I take four. Yeah, I still have my cross hands. So from here, I just go up here. Now I have another solution, which is also Krumphau, which I like a bit more. But you need to be quick. And it's Krumphau Krumphau. 
Because if I end up here, I can make another Kumpau. Because he says you can make Kumpau from, from Bach or from Sanku. So if he ignores my Kumpau, I can go here. Now, this may look a bit slow, um, but Misha is a very quick fencer. So I, I'm going to put my mask on and he's going to try his best. would be to make the crumpa before the blade and go up. Yeah? Because I'm also covered now. So you wanna try this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So he makes ox. He doesn't take the four. But if he sees my crumpa coming in, he goes here and I just go up. Okay? So not here, not here, there. Please, last exercise. Give it all you got. Um, first of all, thank you very much for all your hard work. You have, you've been training excellently. I saw some beautiful shield house, boom house, right timing, right distance. So first of all, my compliments to you. Um, just a little recap of what we did. First, we started out with the stabbing. Not from the footwork, but from the hip rotation. So from here, just go here. Don't use your leg because I want to push the earth away behind me. Yeah? I want to dig my foot in and use the rotation of the earth to stab my opponent in the face. Yeah? It's like the whole mass of the earth stabbing my opponent. And, and me as well. So, from here, just go here. Then, if I'm certain that the path is free, there, yeah, here. It's like the snow plow, skid through, yeah? I'm clearing the way, there. If the way is clear, here, I step. This is called upset. So if my opponent stabs me, I just clear the path while attacking him and go in. Even if I'm in the knock, he takes the four, yeah, I'm in the knock, and I just go, okay. And because I use my hip rotation and not my tempo, my footwork, I'm, I will be quicker. Yeah? I will be with the car overtaking him there, boom, and just go in. Okay, then we did the same square thing. So that way for shield how. So not from a stab, but from a strike. To go here and stab in. So I clear the path in front of me, there, to push my point in. Again, the point is coming towards my opponent, so we will go, eh. yeah? And if not, I don't care, he will die anyway. Yeah? So you make him scared. You take the four and you use the four. If you just take the four and don't, don't do anything with it, you won't be able to hit him. So, go in. Every Meisterhau is aimed at the head. Zwerhau, Scheitelhau, Schielhau, and even the Krumphau. There. It's all going into my opponent. The, if, if you compress sword fighting in one thing, it's like this thing has to go in there. Yeah? And if you succeed by going like this, or like this, or like this, doesn't matter. This thing has to go in there. Not to the side, not to the... There. Okay. So we did the shield how? First in the, in the, in the knife. My opponent was stabbing me. Please, stab me. Yeah. So he's stabbing me, and I just wait. Go here. Clear the path. Step it. Then we did it against the strike. So here. Strike. Step in. I can, I can go really nah. I can go nah. Because I can wait. I have all the time I like. He's coming towards me. Boom. Step. Yeah? Then we did the shield out in the four. If I'm in distance where I'm doubting if I can hit him or not, so no, no, maybe, 
boom. Yeah? Don't go, no, no, maybe, yes, because then you're too late. Then your opponent will go, oh, he's, he's near, boom, and he will take you forward. So this increases the two factor. If you look at tournaments, this is what happens. Yeah? People close the distance without threatening the opponent. But I've missed one meter of space. One meter of making him go, oh fuck, uh, oh no. Yeah? So, Oberhau, Schielhau, in the Nach, go. Krumphau, against Ox, in the four. No, no, maybe, I'll try it anyway. If he makes the Fazetsa, do a Flexel, see him through the safe, in my little roof, if I can stab him. Then if he uses the four from Ox, there, he wants to stab me, go to the blade, but still in the direction of the head, change, stab. Clear. Oh. Sorry. Yeah? And then we combine everything. So, now, you can choose to take the four, which is the better option, because you have the glove and you can hit him. Yeah? Or you decide to take the knock. To make a little trap for your opponent, say, okay, come on. Yeah, you start in fluke, you go, come on, stab me, stab me, stab me, boom. And then you can do it. Any questions? I, I can't imagine I was clear enough. So, <coughs> yes sir? No. There must be questions. Any questions? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, okay. Let's practice. If, if you have any questions, look me up on Facebook or send me an email to have my address and please ask me some questions. Um, the, 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 the nasty thing about Sunday is that we have to go home afterwards, so you can't ask me. If it's on Friday, I'm, we'll be here the whole weekend, but that's been too late. So please, if you have any questions, if you want to follow up, follow up information, send me an email or a text message. Question? Uh, yes, you may. Steal everything from me. Yeah? And, and if you want more, just come and ask me and I will give you everything. Yeah? Because I think HEMA is one big family and we need to share all the information we got. Because it's so little information we have. I have some, you have some, you have some. Together we have more. So, share the knowledge. So I want to thank you very much. Please and me.